What's going on guys, Mexkillet here with another CSGO video and today I'll be doing a video on 5 ways that Valve can improve trading for CSGO or just about any Steam game that has items or anything as well or Steam trading cards, any sort of Steam trading, Valve could greatly improve if they made these 5 changes or additions. But either way, let's get right into the first one which is stackable items. Now obviously, I don't think every item should be stackable, like any sort of weapon skin should not be stackable because obviously those have different floats and conditions, and even if the, sa even the same conditions can have different floats and stickers and stuff, so I would not say I don't want any weapon skins to be stackable, however there's a lot of items for CSGO and other games that are exactly identical, like keys, cases, name tags, and it would be way easier to trade these if they were all stackable. You wouldn't have to select hundreds of keys, you would be able to store lots of keys and stuff in your inventory and because the, the normal limit is a thousand or yeah it's around a thousand but either way if there were stackable items you would basically never go over the inventory limit if you're just trading with like keys and stuff and uh, it gets really annoying when you're trading keys in very large amounts so it would be so much better if Valve made it so keys were stackable and then you can select the amount of each key that you want to put in a trade which is kind of what Steam Inventory Helper already does but I think a lot of the, the stuff that Steam Inventory Helper has should, re should really just be implemented into the Valve trading system in the first place but either way stackable items would be such a nice improvement that would make it a lot easier for everyone to trade especially when it comes to keys and for anyone that wants to buy a ton of cases or any sorts of items like that uh, having stackable items would make this some so much of a better experience so that's the first change that I would make for CSGO trading so another pretty big issue of Steam is the mobile confirmations they are quite a pain, especially when it comes to the market ones. I don't, I didn't think it was too bad when you just had them for trading, but now they're making it mandatory for every single item you want to sell in the Steam market. You have to confirm on the Steam Mobile Authenticator app, which is really, really annoying. Like this is not just for CS:GO. If you're selling trading cards, you, if you want to sell like hundreds of those, it's really hard to do now with the, just with the stuff Valve supplies you. I believe there may be some way to like recode the app. I saw some stuff about that. I may have to do that myself, but either way, I really don't think you should have to do all that. Valve, just someone on Reddit actually suggested that they just add a confirm all button, and I have to say that's probably the easiest way to fix that. Doesn't seem like it'd be too hard at all, but if you're trying to sell tons of skins on the market at once, you really just can't do it anymore. It's already really annoying to sell them in the first place, and now you have to confirm every single one. So all they really have to do is add a confirm all button, and uh, that would just make the whole trading experience a lot better, especially when it comes to the Steam market. And I really don't see why Valve doesn't do this, because, I mean, if people are selling more stuff on the Steam market, they are making more money. And I think updates like this, where you can't really sell tons of stuff on the Steam market at once, really encourage people to use OP skins and other sites and uh, try to sell stuff there. Um, and then for Steam trading cards, just really annoying for those people. But either way, this is something that they really need to fix. The uh, They just need to add a confirm all button. I think that's all they really need to do to fix this entire issue. Now, something that really pisses me off about Steam is there's so many impersonators and it seems like people actually have a hard time finding which accounts are the real ones. Um, personally, I don't really have a trouble with that. I don't think it's too hard, but I guess lots of like noob people, they get scammed by impersonators and stuff for people they think are like trusted traders. I don't think it's too hard to avoid, but really, I think the reason they fall for this is because the Steam friend searcher is so bad, it's ridiculous. Like, let's say I want to find my boy Trillix on here. I search Trillix. I don't think any of these accounts here are Trillix. It's, it just comes up with a bunch of accounts that clearly are not the actual person's account. And if you search Trillix's name on Google though, if you search Trillix Steam, it will instantly pop up with his profile. If you search OG McSkillet Steam, it'll come up with my Steam immediately. If you search it on Google, if you want to find someone's actual account, you want to f search it on Google. But I mean, that's basically a fix for anyone that watches my videos right now, but either way, this still doesn't cover it for all the people that didn't watch this video and they really just need to fix it so it's using the same engine that Google is to figure out whose account it is because uh, the current Steam profile finder thing is really bad. It for some reason puts low level accounts above high level accounts that have way more like activity and stuff on it. It really doesn't seem like too hard of a system to fix but this just causes so many people to get scammed because they're using that Steam search feature and then they find some other account and then that account claims to be like 
and they, it claims that the other accounts like a vault inventory and I don't know why people fall for that but it could really be avoided if they fixed that uh, stupid search engine on the Steam Friends things. Now my fourth suggestion is something that I'm not really sure if they'd really be able to fix but as you guys probably know if you trade or use Steam a lot Steam is just really, really laggy, like especially on trade offers, like if you're accepting trades, a lot of times you just get random errors. If you're sending trades, you get random errors. If you're, you're confirming mobile trades, you get random errors. There is so many errors and so many issues. It's actually ridiculous how often this happens. Now, I don't know why this happens. I don't know if the Steam servers are just really shitty. They seem to be making a ton of money though, so maybe they can invest a little bit more in that or just find out what is causing all these random errors. I'm sure lots of you guys have had these errors before and uh, like trade offer pages not loading, trades not going through, just tons of random errors that uh, just make the trading process really annoying a lot of the time. And um, I don't really expect Valve to ever fix that, but it does seem like plenty of other in plenty of, of other internet services have a much better and less laggy system with, than what Valve has. But either way, uh, hopefully they'll fix that someday. So my final suggestion for Steam to improve their trading services is actually a security option. Now, I know there's already so many security options. Actually, they're not even options. They're mandatory stuff that you have to do that they've added. You guys probably think that they don't need anything more at this point. But what I actually am suggesting is something that is a result of the other security stuff they added. So as you guys know, you really have to be using the mobile the mobile Steam app. And on the mobile Steam app, it's you can actually make trades to people and then you just confirm it right on there. So you don't need to have any other confirmations in order to make trades. So you could basically trade your entire inventory over to someone using a phone. But if you're on a computer, you can't trade your entire inventory over to someone because you also have to have the phone. But what I think they should add, now this would only be an optional feature. Now, personally, I don't really like to trade when I'm like not on my computer. I know some people like to trade on their phone, so they, they obviously don't have to do this. This is just for people that don't really trade on their phone. But I personally would be a little bit concerned if someone's able to get your phone and then trade all your items over to their account or whatever. I think this could definitely be fixed by adding some sort of some sort of like computer confirmation, maybe some sort of email confirmation that would probably fix it as well. Just have some email that is only on your desktop. But either way, I don't know, maybe people could hack your phone or possibly steal your phone and somehow get into it. But either way, I just think it could be a optional feature for those people that are actually concerned about losing their items via their phone instead of their computer. And of course, the only reason I think they need this is because they made the phone use pretty much mandatory at this point and you have access to your entire inventory on there. So those are the five things that I think Valve needs to do to fix uh, Steam trading. I mean, it's not too bad right now, but if they added these five things, it would basically clear up all the issues that I'm having with it right now, and I'm sure it would help a lot of other people as well. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Also, I'm doing a giveaway to anyone that signs up on Gameflip.com with code MSKINS or downloads the Gameflip mobile app. And Gameflip is a pretty cool platform where you can trade skins, sell them for real money. It's like OP Skins. They've actually got a lot of cooler features that uh, some some that OP Skins doesn't even have. So you can make sure to check that out. Link in the description can pot potentially get that butter knife slaughter and you get a free dollar for using code m skins anyway but that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed and i'm excellent and i'm out